Huawei's latest move in the GPU space is raising a lot of eyebrows, and for good reason. The company long known for its smartphones and telecom infrastructure is stepping into one of the most competitive and innovation-driven arenas in tech, graphics processing. But this isn't just another product launch. It could be the beginning of something much bigger. Today, we're exploring why Huawei's entry into the GPU market could fundamentally shift the balance of power, and why NVIDIA might finally have a worthy rival. Now let's be honest. When most people hear the name Huawei, they don't think graphics cards. They think phones, base stations, 5G towers. But behind the scenes, Huawei has been aggressively expanding into new territories. AI, cloud computing, and now GPUs. What makes this so interesting isn't just that Huawei is building a GPU. It's the way they're doing it. This isn't a company playing catch up. They're not mimicking, they're taking a fundamentally different approach. NVIDIA has dominated the GPU market for decades. They're not just a household name among gamers, they're a cornerstone of modern computing. Their graphics cards power everything from ultra-realistic AAA games to high-performance data centers running massive AI models. And let's not forget CUDA, their proprietary parallel computing platform, absolutely essential for machine learning, scientific research, and advanced analytics. NVIDIA didn't build that overnight. It took years of relentless R&D and smart ecosystem development. They earned their position. But as impressive as NVIDIA is, no company is immune to disruption. What Huawei is doing is going after the specific weaknesses in NVIDIA's armor. Instead of trying to outperform NVIDIA across the board, Huawei is zeroing in on use cases where traditional GPU architectures start to falter, particularly in AI and machine learning. These are areas where workloads are massive, power demands are high, and performance needs are increasingly specialized. This is where Huawei's new GPU, the Ascend 920C, comes in. It's not just another chip. It's a serious piece of engineering with some jaw-dropping performance stats. Built on a custom architecture, not a rehash of decades-old frameworks, the Ascend 920C is optimized from the ground up for AI workloads. That means training massive neural networks, processing enormous data sets, and doing it all with superior efficiency. Early benchmarks tell a compelling story. In AI training throughput, Huawei's chip reportedly outperforms NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell B200, a chip that hasn't even hit full production yet. Even more impressively, the Ascend 920C achieves these results while consuming about 20% less power. That's a huge win for data centers and enterprises where electricity costs scale with every rack. More performance, less power, lower operational cost. That's it. And the pricing? That's where things get really disruptive. NVIDIA's high-end cards are notoriously expensive, often putting them out of reach for startups, researchers, and individual developers. Huawei seems to understand that, and they're coming in with a GPU that delivers elite-level performance at a significantly lower price point. It's a move that could open up access to cutting-edge AI tools for a much broader range of users and in doing so, potentially accelerate innovation in sectors like healthcare, robotics, and autonomous systems. But Huawei didn't stop at AI. While the Ascend 920C is clearly optimized for machine learning, it's no slouch in the graphics department either. Early demos suggest that it holds its own against NVIDIA's RTX series when it comes to gaming. The chip leverages AI-driven rendering techniques to improve image quality and reduce latency, features that are becoming increasingly important in modern game design. If Huawei delivers here, they could become a serious player in the gaming GPU market as well, something very few have managed to do. It's also impossible to ignore the geopolitical context surrounding all of this. Huawei's GPU push isn't just about innovation, it's about independence. With U.S. sanctions limiting access to key technologies, China has made it a top priority to reduce dependence on foreign semiconductors. The Ascend 920C represents a major step in that direction. It's a demonstration of what homegrown talent and engineering can achieve under pressure, and it aligns perfectly with China's broader goals of becoming a global leader in AI and advanced computing. The implications are massive. First, increased competition always benefits the end user. With Huawei forcing NVIDIA to push the envelope, we'll likely see faster innovation, better performance, and possibly even more competitive pricing. Whether you're a gamer, a developer, or a business building AI solutions, more choices in the market is a win. Second, this could help democratize access to high-performance computing. If Huawei delivers powerful GPUs at lower prices, more individuals, startups, and smaller organizations can participate in cutting-edge AI development. 
That could speed up progress in fields that were previously the domain of only large tech companies with deep pockets. Third, there's the global tech power dynamic. If Huawei succeeds, this won't just be a business win, it will be a geopolitical statement, proof that China can compete with and potentially outperform the West in one of the most strategic areas of modern technology. That could reshape supply chains, influence international policy, and challenge the U.S.-led dominance of semiconductor design. And don't underestimate the gaming impact either. With AI-powered graphics becoming the new norm, Huawei's hardware could bring next-gen visual fidelity to a much wider audience. Imagine realistic lighting, responsive environments, and ultra-smooth gameplay. Not just for premium users, but for everyone. The future of gaming could become more inclusive, more immersive, and more... Now let's be clear. Huawei still has an uphill battle ahead. Building a GPU is one thing, building an ecosystem is another. NVIDIA has spent years developing tools, libraries, and platforms that developers rely on every day. Wale will need to build something similar, an entire software layer that supports their hardware and makes it easy for developers to switch. That's a massive task. They also face political and logistical barriers. U.S. sanctions and trade restrictions are not going away anytime soon, and they still limit Huawei's access to certain advanced manufacturing technologies. Navigating that will require creative solutions and serious resourcefulness. And let's not forget consumer trust. Huawei is well known in Asia, but still relatively unknown in the GPU space. Building credibility among gamers, developers, and enterprise customers will take time. Still, the potential here is enormous. And if we look at the numbers coming out of the latest benchmarks, Huawei is making a strong case. In tests comparing the Ascend 920C to NVIDIA's current top-tier GPU, Huawei's chip achieved a 30% higher AI training throughput. That's not marginal, that's significant. And it did so using 20% less power, which translates directly into lower costs for enterprise AI operations. In gaming scenarios, the results were equally impressive. Titles like Cyberpunk 2077 and Microsoft Flight Simulator ran just as well, and in some cases even better, than on Nivity's hardware. Frame rates were high, visual fidelity was top-notch, latency was low. These are real-world results that can't be ignored. So what does this all mean? Huawei's new GPU isn't just a technical product. It's a statement. A declaration that they're not here to follow, they're here to lead. Whether they manage to dethrone NVIDIA entirely or not, the fact that they're even in the conversation is a seismic shift in itself. They've changed the narrative, and they've raised the stakes. If they succeed, we're looking at a future with more affordable AI tools, more accessible gaming, and more innovation across every level of computing. If they fall short, they've still forced NVIDIA and the industry to step up its game. Either way, the GPU market will never be the same again. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Is this the beginning of a new GPU era? Or will NVIDIA continue to dominate the landscape? Don't forget to subscribe for more deep tech dives and keep the conversation going. Stay curious, 